Let's move on to all the COVID updates coming in. Now, there have been a lot of delays, not so much in RT-PCR testing, but in genome sequencing to identify which variant an infected person carries. And that's why there have been delays in confirming the Omicron variant. Tata's Medical and Diagnostic Center has come up with the world's first testing kit, OmiSure, which then cuts down the time to identify the Omicron variant. Milin Sharma spoke to the head of research and development at the Tata Medical and Diagnostic Center on the OmiSure kit. As cases of Omicron are surging in the country, the only way to know right now whether you're infected with the Omicron variant or the Delta variant is if your sample is given for genome sequencing. Well, that is about to change because Tata Medical Diagnostics Limited have created a testing kit that will tell you if you test for COVID-19, whether you are infected with Omicron variant or not. The test kit is called OmiSure. I'm joined by uh, Dr. V. Ravi, who heads the R&D for uh, Tata Medical Diagnostics Limited. Sir, thank you so much for joining us uh, on this special broadcast for India today. Sir, please uh, tell us first, I would like to begin by asking you, uh, is this uh, test kit going to be available for the common public and how does it work? How can you and I test with it to find out if we are infected with the Omicron variant? Thank you, um, Milan, for having me on the show. The OmiSure kit is a real-time PCR kit. It is designed to be used on all available real-time PCR machines. It detects genetic material in the nasopharyngeal and throat swabs of individuals uh, where the specimen is collected. The principle of the test is it specifically identifies Omicron. How it does is using two strategies combined into one. The first strategy is it picks up S gene dropout, meaning because of mutations in Omicron, the conventional PCR will not work for S gene. Now, there are some kits in the market which do that. This is called S gene dropout. In addition, yes. we have made sure that we have a uh, uh, S gene specific mutation detection for the first time in the world these two have been combined along with another gene called RDRP of the virus together what this three genes do is they identify all SARS-CoV-2 viruses all variants if it is Omicron then the gene dropout will be detected plus the gene mutation will be detected. Therefore, in a matter of two and a half hours, by routine real-time PCR, we'll be able to say if it is Omicron or not. The biggest advantage this test has is it has been confirmed on sequenced samples by ICMR in their extensive hmm. evaluation. So we hope it is going to replace genome sequencing. The third thing I would like to mention is it is uh, PCR, so it cannot be done at home as a self-test because it is not an antigen test. So it, the hmm. specimen has to be collected and the test has to be carried out in the laboratory. The test hmm. is now so that is awaiting very, that is licensing very useful from information. CDSCO and we hmm. hope to get the license very soon by this month end. And it will then go into manufacture and be available in the next uh, seven to 10 days in the market. Thank you. Hmm. So, sir, uh, what you're essentially telling us is very useful information because uh, people want to know whether this particular test kit, OmiSure, would work as a self-test or home-based test kit. So, you've said that uh, it can be used only in laboratories that will test uh, for the samples. Am I correct? Yes, absolutely correct. Hmm. So, and also, uh, you said that uh, uh, the test will be done in the laboratories. Uh, therefore, uh, can we opt for or can a person who is getting tested opt for this option apart from other RT-PCR tests that are available? Yes, I think that should be possible. Uh, the, when the test is available in the market, laboratories can procure them and make them available to clients. And I'm sure clients will have the choice to do that. Hmm.
Uh, sir, uh, what would be the price of this particular test? Uh, at what price would this uh, Omishore RT-PCR be available for the laboratories who will uh, uh, make it available and for the general public who wants to uh, opt for it? Uh, the, the management of Tata AMD, uh, especially our uh, CEO, Mr. Girish Krishnamurthy, who has been extraordinarily supportive for this venture, has taken a decision that the price will, maximum retail price per test will be 250 rupees. So the laboratories that procure the test, we will get, will get it at 250 rupees. And this is much right. less priced than the existing S-Gene dropout kit price. So it will be cheaper. Right, right. And will this be the same price at which it will be available for uh, the common man, sir? That is, I think, uh, decided by different states because apart from this test kit, the other materials that are used are swabs, collection media, right. plus there is, I think, hmm. some charge, laboratories, levy. That is not within our control at Tata MDL. But to the laboratory, mm -hmm. we will be giving at a maximum retail price of rupees 250. And if sure. the volumes are much, much larger, then Tata MD, I'm sure, will be have a differential pricing depending on the volume of testing that the laboratory will undertake. Hmm. So how much time would it take for uh, someone using Omishore or opting for Omishore for testing to find out if they have been infected by the Omicron variant? I told you the actual test, PCR test takes 85 minutes, but sample uh -huh. collection, RNA extraction, plus, you know, the processes of pipetting, addition, um, switching on the machine and result generation, all that put together should take anywhere between 130 to 150 minutes. That means between mm -hmm. two and two and a half hours, depending on the efficiency of the lab. Mm -hmm. So uh, after this announcement, I'm sure that there's going to be an upsurge in demand for this particular testing kit. How are you going to make sure that uh, it is uh, distributed and manufactured at a large scale? Thank you for that question, uh, Milan. We already have been in the last uh, seven days since ICMR approval came, we have been working very hard trying to put things in place. Uh, initially, we will have a capacity of producing 200,000 or 2 lakh tests per day. Within a matter of 10 to 15 days, we hope to scale it up to 5 lakh tests per day. Having said that, the biggest challenges in production are available of raw material, and this has to be sourced from abroad. We are going all out to see that raw materials will be procured very quickly. But unless we get the manufacturing license, we can't go into production. As of now, we are mentally preparing ourselves to hit the market at least within the next five to seven days. That is our target. All right. And uh, do you have plans to export this outside India as well? Exactly. Very, very true. We have already applied for European Union CE marking, and that should happen mm -hmm. very shortly. We are in the process of filing uh, uh, emergency use authorization application to FDA in USA. So that is also right. on fast track. Yes, we hmm. plan to export these kits to other countries as well. Hmm. So uh, congratulations and uh, it's a big uh, news for uh, Tata as well as India Thank because you, uh, this Omishaw kit is made in India and uh, would uh, be uh, available in the market soon. But it's not a home-based test. It's not a self-test. One has to submit the sample in a laboratory and then only one can know whether they are infected with Omicron variant or not. Thank you so much, sir, thank for joining you. us and I thank you for your time.